In the last episode, I managed to uh, get the thwarts or seats all uh, dialed in, or I should say roughed in. And now it's time to work on the forward and aft bulkheads and storage compartments. So the option in the boat is to leave this area open and put a structural piece in here called a rang. But the, uh, the owner has opted for the second option, which is having a large bulkhead and a curved sort of deck in here. This is the aft section. We'll also do it in the fore section. So we need to put a cleat in and then uh, build some structure with some beams across and uh, then it will be covered in plywood. So the plans do show this option and it asks for a 3 8 by 5 8 cleat in here or uh, call it a little riser. So now there will be a seat coming in here and this will be this long. It's going to be cut off somewhere in this area here. But I'd like a bit of a cleat on the uh, vertical bulkhead wall here for the seat to rest on as uh, it sticks out. You, you know, I don't know how far it's going to come out, about maybe this far. So what I've got here is a sample. This would be, I mean, this is a bit thicker, but this would be the sample of how thick the seat would be coming through. And I don't want the, uh, the deck of this compartment area here to be lower than the seat. So I want the top to be of this uh, riser here to be exactly the same height as what the seat might be. Then we're going to add plywood to the top of it so it'll be a little bit higher. And then we can add a cleat to the wall here that will sit under the, uh, the uh, side seat here. <coughs> I have lined up an area in the front and then I just clamp these pieces in. And then for references to where to glue them in later, I have drawn some lines across from various sections here so that they'll get lined up. And I've the, done the exact same on the other side so that we will have a similar height on both sides. So I've measured down in a couple areas here and done the same on the other side. I've got them clamped in. Now I need to, uh, I want this uh, riser to come right in and tuck into the inside stem here. So the similar the way that the gunnels did. So I'm going to mark some, take some bevels off of there and uh, fit them in. Actually, before I do that, before I take them out, since I had them in there, is I want to measure, calculate what angle I can cut on the top of this, which will be just a couple of degrees off of level here somewhere piece across there and then measure that angle down there to level. So when I take them out I'm going to draw that out. It's always useful to mark your bevels out and label them on a scrap piece of lumber just in case you need to come back and find them later. So this would be uh, top of risers. I'm just going to pick up the bevels that are required on this little riser fitting into the inside stem here. And I kind of just have to eyeball this because it isn't going to go in that corner. But let's just say, whoops, that it's something about like that. So then I transfer that mark onto the end of the riser. Now with the one out, I have to put it back in to measure, but I can just measure the other side. And I'm looking for what is the angle coming up and under the bottom there. And then that measurement gets transferred from the mark onto the back side. I think I'm just going to cut that up quickly on the bandsaw, touch it up on the disc sander, and fit it in. Well, the bandsaw made quick work of that. So if that gets run into my marks here. So looks like I've got the one angle right. We definitely need to clean up that bevel there. It's very hard to take the when I can't fit in the corner. With the bulkhead risers in place, I now need to make the forward section of the bulkhead 
and we've laid out a piece of white cedar here. The customer would like sort of a peak deck, so I need a large piece of lumber here. I've made and calculated all of the beveled angles. We've got a really nice fit on the front face here, the back face here. It's fitting exactly where I want, and now I have marked off its position on here. So now it's a matter of figuring out, yeah, what kind of an arc through the center would be uh, appropriate for the, because this is the aft deck. I have the forward uh, deck beam on the aft uh, bulkhead here ready to go. I then made the, uh, the second one. I'm needing another uh, deck beam somewhere in this position here. That's what I decided. I then cut and measured all of the beveled angles and ended up making the little notches. I'm going to have this sort of sit under the riser in that position. Then I marked where the top of the riser is on both ends. Found the center, which is here. And I think I can just lay down the forward deck beam, lining up with all the marks on the edges and the center line. Trace it out. Should be able to go and cut this on the bandsaw. On the forward uh, deck beam, the aft portion of the uh, bulkhead, I couldn't actually get into the bandsaw to do the curve cutting, but this one's a bit shorter and I was able to do that. It makes much faster work than doing it by hand. Now there is that gentle slope from the uh, aft stem through to the bar or through the forward end of the bulkhead so I need to just taper this ever so slightly. Let's go have a look see how it fits. Alright second attempt at the uh, center deck beam on the aft bulkhead. I have it fitting beautifully. I may probably clean it up, but I think I'm just going to add a curve to the bottom here as well. I don't think it needs to be as thick as it is. We'll make the bottom the same curve as the top. We'll leave a little meat on the end there. I'm just concerned that, you know, I want to make sure there's enough meat there, it's not going to break. I doubt it ever will. Okay, I'm going to just be sanding the edges here, but I think we are there. So this, I'll just slip in like so. And then we just check for square. We'll call that a day. That's a lot of angles, a lot of cutting, a lot of uh, calculating. Uh, my brain is hurting right now. So, but I'll have to repeat the whole procedure for the four deck. But I think I've got this process sorted out.
for the four and a half bulkheads. It's time to move on to uh, the plywood structure, but I'm going to leave that for the next episode. And as always, thank you very much for watching. Hey, do consider giving me a thumbs up. Maybe become a subscriber or share with someone you know who might be interested in this build. See you next week.